All right, so this is my last night in Ohio. Um, I was up there, I was packing a car, getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, family's all wanting to play cards and do all that fun stuff. I said, wait just a minute. I uh, found some gloves, and I want to run down to the creek for a few more minutes. Uh, just because out in Arkansas, uh, I live right on the Arkansas-Oklahoma border, and uh, they have a lot of really cool rocks there. Uh, but the, as cool as the rocks are there, they don't have the rocks that are here over there so I want to do a little bit of looking around here and my family doesn't quite understand it they're like I'll oh, come and spend some time with families like I've been here for over a week I love y'all I need a little exercise to wear off all the food so I'm gonna go and uh, do a little bit of rock counting so uh, I'm back over here at the creek uh, found this uh, bank um, as you can see this wall has stuff erodes after rain and everything chunks of it just fall off like this whole tree right here just fell off. Uh, it wasn't like this the other day. There's some trash over there, unfortunately. But um, so that's how uh, a lot of fresh material comes out uh, of these walls. Um, that's primarily all uh, uh, dirt, but uh, there's a lot of rock underneath it and in it. And so I just want to go out and do a little bit of exploring. All right, so all of that bank right there this uh, fell off in last night's uh, storm all of this stuff uh, with this tree right here and as i came over here to explore it uh, to look around to see what kind of new stuff was turned up i looked down in the water and i see that that is a rock that's buried down in the dirt There's a horn coral in there with another shell on top of it. Not really seeing anything on the back, but still, cool piece. Just buried right down there in the dirt um, with the water washing over it. See, um, and as these pieces uh, fall out of the uh, the rock walls, um, they'll come out in pieces of the rock like this. And then as they tumble downstream, um, these right here will eventually break out uh, as the rocks uh, clang and crashing into one another. The rocks will chip, and then these pieces eventually bust free. And then you can find uh, loose individual points uh, laying around as well. So that's how this has come to be. So it's fun to, uh, to find these uh, points that are in the rock. I'm going to leave that one. Um, and I'm just surface searching today uh, for I'm only down here for 10-15 minutes I've only got a little bit of uh, sunlight left so uh, I'm gonna leave this rock here uh, who knows where it'll be three months from now how far downstream it'll be uh, but I'm just gonna see if I can't find a few uh, single points uh, in the meantime and I just saw this looks to be kind of interesting Little top of an ice cream cone. So do you guys see that more kind of greenish type of uh, uh, bedrock that's down there at the bottom of the creek? You'll find that all up and down this creek in different areas and in some spots you'll find like different uh, shelves and stuff but um, Check this out. Just got this out of the creek just a minute ago. I picked it up without thinking and uh, uh, got it before I started videotaping it. And then I was like, oh shoot, I need to videotape that. So you want to look for these identifying shapes. Those ridges. So 
I picked up the shell, wasn't thinking anything of it, and I flipped it over. Check that out. Look at all those calcite crystals growing on the inside of that shell. Like shark's teeth or something. Really pretty. Let's just flip a few rocks real quick. I gotta get back up to the house. We'll see what we can find. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Heavy. I'm gonna leave it. It's not very well defined. It's got a lot of fun fossils on it. It's got a lot of shells on there. Pretty. Curious what that'll look like. Quickie rinse. Nice. I'm gonna leave it though. You never know what you'll find. Including a big night crawler. Oh, and a little spider. That's okay. There's some fun shells. Nothing on the back side. And I had a few sparklies on it. It looks like something's deteriorating right there. Eh. It's kind of cool. Oh! Oh my goodness. Let's wash that up. <laughs> How cool is that? Get my cake off of there. Still got some mud on there. My goodness, how cool is that? It's like the underbelly of a snake or something. That's green. Again, that came from that kind of green layer. Um, that you see right there so maybe one of these days I'll come down here and break up a lot of that stuff there must be some more upstream this had to wash downstream uh, come around that corner corners are always really good to look for stuff because um, it's something tumbles and tumbles and tumbles a lot of times it can catch around a corner uh, right there around a bend and can't quite make the transition on down so um, that might be a good place to look here in a minute, uh, getting past some of these trees, but there's still a lot to look around on these rocks here. So far, I've found some good stuff. All right, again, just uh, looking for those identifying shapes uh, of what type of fossils that you're looking for. Um, wait a minute. See that? That's a deceiver. I think it's just a rock. It sure looks like a horn coral. See, I noticed this one right over here out of the corner of my eye. Where did it go? Okay, there it is. Um, see, I saw this uh, Y-shaped rock here. thought that was cool. And then I looked, and I saw this horn coral here. Let me wash that off. That's a big heavy one. I'll leave that down here. I 
nothing on that. On that. Sometimes you'll find a big old monster spider under some of these too, so be careful when you're flipping the rocks. You never know what might be hiding underneath it. Could be a really cool fossil. Could be a snake or a spider. Or if you're in the creek, it could be a crawdad. See when it gets white like this? It's uh, had something rubbing up against it, like scratching, and that causes that whiteness right there. So when this thing was uh, tumbling in the creek, um, that's kind of cool. It's almost kind of like a giant geode or something. All right. These little areas right here where things get hung up and stopped. It's a good place to search. Uh, it's like a little natural dam or something. Things get buried in there. Some more from that green layer. I was hoping it had something in it, but not this time. I just found a wall over here um, with a lot of that kind of, this kind of greenish layer where I found that uh, fossil. This one here doesn't have anything in it. Um, you can see some more of that greenish rock right there. Some trash. Um, neighbors upstream sometimes throw trash. Uh, it just drives me nuts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to get a um, rock hammer uh, or something. Uh, maybe my uh, hammer drill, um, my cordless one, and come down here and just hammer away at this wall and see if I can't find something good. So I've been over and saw this right here. Out of the corner of my eye. Okay, so I didn't realize until after I got back um, how many of these little swirly shells are actually in this piece. And also, um, there appears to be, and I didn't see this, right here above my thumb. Um, looks like it's calcite crystals or something has fossilized and uh, turned into crystals. I just flipped this rock over. It's a really big rock. I've got to leave it here because it's way too heavy. But check that out. Ooh. I saw all the different shells on the front side of this. Basically, there's a lot of, a lot of material over here to go through. A lot of big... Uh, larger plates. Some have got horn coral in them. Some do not. Some are just loaded with shells. Another one right here. And right there. Here's an itty bitty little baby one. That is just the tip of one. So while I'm over here filming stuff, my uh, second son, Ben, is out behind me, and he's finding all these things for me. This one's heavy. 
It's got a small one over here in this corner, perhaps two. A couple good ones here. Not a whole lot on the back. Nothing really on the sides. Nice. Got a point on there. Yeah. Alright, watch it off. Let's see what it looks like. That way I think you have a little bit more of a close-up. Nice. I'll just wash it off. Good point. Really nice. Let's see it. If I can get it to focus. I like it when they have all the, uh, the dotted texture on them and stuff. That's pretty neat. Alright, here we go. There's a little small one buried down in there in the dirt. Let's rinse her off. I found three of them back to back here a couple of days ago. In this exact same spot. Alright, this one's buried down in the rock, but let's take a look at it. See, when you're looking for horn coral, um, you've got to try to find that cylinder kind of triangular shape. Really stands out. There's a little small one here on the back. It's a nice one. Starting to deteriorate some, give it some texture and some character. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, God bless.